Hello, and once again, good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004. Last time we went to Darlington, we finished about where we started in a tumultuous race. And we're still 31st in points. Tony Stewart got his third straight win. And we're all the fucking way down here, so... We're getting dangerously close to where the sponsor actually expects us to be in points, so that's uncomfortable to say the least. But yeah. Placeholder Joke Motorsports is doing better than I expected them to at this point, but we're coming into Bristol. We're gonna have fresh stuff, but the problem is, is that I suck at this track, so... Well, we're screwed either way. It's just not looking good at all, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We're just... It's just not a good... Si all around, it's just a bad situation. So, yeah. Here we go. Mark on the pole. Sweet. I'm probably going to have to take a couple attempts at this since I suck at qualifying at this track normally. Alright, good start. Good start. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. And we're going for real this time. Okay, here we go. Well, I fucked up. I'm starting over. I don't even care. I can't run this track, guys. I'm just... Twenty-fourth, hey. And not even that major impact. We can we can still recover this lap. Come on! It was terrible anyway. Qualified twenty-fourth. We're starting on the outside at Bristol. Oh yeah, baby. We're starting on the outside at Bristol. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to die. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna force my way to the inside. I don't even give a shit. I don't even care about your race, Jeff Burden. I'm just I'm just here to survive. So as you all know, Bristol is famous for its uh, caution during the pit cycle where Ward Burden Why button where he will just give up coming out of the pits. At, a, at, a, at an awkward angle, causing the entire field to get fucked up. I'm going to stay on track as long as I possibly can in anticipation of this caution. Could you not, Bobby Lamont? Oh, well, Bobby's just going to go around me on the high side, it looks like, so... I don't even know why I bother. The Labonte brothers just blow by me like I'm nothing. Yeah. This is just 50 laps of stress, basically. Are we? Are we seven seconds off the leader? That's good. That means we're fast, right? Okay, Kyle Petty. Looks like you're gonna dive bomb my ass. Oh god, I'm sorry I'm not talking, but this is incredibly stressful. I think I'm gonna go to this camera. Alright, no, I'm not gonna go to that camera, because it's gonna uh, mess up my marks. I wanted to go to that camera to make sure I don't spin myself out across one of these guys. Oh, and Jeff Burton just hit the wall, thank you. That means for just one lap, just one lap, one corner even, I can feel safe and secure. And there goes Marlon. And there's the fly again. Okay, that's nice. Glad to see you've returned for more. My life isn't stressful enough without your ass. Fuck me. Well, we started 24. Okay. We'll 
You can't take that away from me. One point, you really, I would really appreciate it, Wood, if you could bring out the caution in this race so that I can get, so I can cheese the top 10, because I'm not going to be finishing anywhere near the front if you don't. Good God almighty, I hate driving this track. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, well, we're up. Hi, Ken Schrader. That was only a 10. And Steve Park giving me a 30 back in fucking Rockingham. I'm still pissed about that. I'm still pissed about that. Goodness me, this is the... This is the worst. Yeah, they're just driving around me on the high side. What can you do about that? They just drive around you on the high side. How do you respond to this? What words can you say? What words can even come to mind? Other than fuck and my and life. Occasionally you put them together in a sentence. Fuel's at half at lap 14. Jesus. That's uh, severely limiting my pit. My waiting for Ward Burton to bring out the caution options. That's looking at lap 28 at the latest that I can stay out for. Ward, you better be getting to the inside. I should let him go. I should let Ward go because he'll be all on his own. Could you not, Hermie Sadler? Thank you, Hermie Sadler. That was completely necessary. Neat. Neat. I guess I'll pick. I guess I'll pick. You know, I guess I'll pick. We can make 28 laps on the fuel. And you know what? We can make 28 laps on the fuel. And I think that's going to make it to the end of the race. Once we go green. You know what? I think I just won this race. As long as I don't get a score to lap down. Because I wasn't paying attention to the, uh, to the lap counter. Because that could very well be the reason that no one else is pitting here. No. No, it would have to have been lap 28, not... Yeah, I'm a lap down. Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Neat. That's great. That's really awesome. I like that I'm a lap down. That really, really opens up the old options, you know? Really gives me a lot of possibilities here. And I have 20 lap fresher tires than Jack Sprague, and I still can't get around him. Neat. See, now they're all going to start pitting here. Could you fuck off, Jack Sprague? Yeah, that was my fault. That was my fault that you drove into the corner that fucking hard on the high side. Yeah. Well, you know, in this case, I can stay out as long as I need to, and if Ward Burton comes down, you know, maybe I can get my lap back. You know, stranger things have happened. Sad for Casey. He has to pit early. He's going to get three laps down. Is Ward down? Is Ward down? I don't see him down there. Paying more attention to the actual pit lane than I am the track. Which, you know, that always goes well for what the hell is happening down here. Well, that's Kevin LePage. I'm going to die if I try to go to his... Okay, okay, okay. That's necessary. And there's the caution. And the fucking leader didn't pit. Oh my fucking god. Well, you know what? I'm in 14. <laughs> and I have to pit anyway. You know what? Maybe I can make it on fuel. Maybe I can make it on What are you doing, McMurray? Maybe he won't get the rookie of the race for once. Hey. Hello. Maybe R McMurray won't get rookie of the race now. Now we're fucking talking, guys. Okay. I'm pausing the game. Pause. Race stats. Where's everyone as far as their lap? 
What lap am I on? 26. And that goes all the way back to 25th. Hot damn. Okay, um, I'm going to pit. I'm going to take rights. Rights. I'm gonna actually go back up on the wedge. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Saw him dancing there by the wrecking machine. Mm -hmm. Knew he must have been about 17. Feeling strong. Play my favorite song. Tell it what belong is with me. Yeah, man. Makes me move it on is with me. Yeah, man. Singing I love rock and roll. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll. Come on, take your time and dance with me. So Jeff Green's in the top ten again. Because this game just won't stop with giving him good runs. I'm not complaining. But yeah, maybe I should have kept that wedge out. Can I just say that the pit crew has been on point this season? Like, they, they're they slow as shit, but they have not screwed up once. Like, they're the fucking true unsung champions of this shit. Well, if Kevin LePage catches me, it's game over. So, I really fucking hope that doesn't happen. And plus, that was really weird. That was really weird how it was McMurray that brought up a caution. I'm sorry, Bill Elliott. Like, that happens a lot. Okay, I won't lie. That had that does happen in this game. They they killed themselves off the pit road and the page and themselves. But hopefully this means that McMurray will not get rookie of the race and I will get rookie of the race instead because I am a lot more special. Okay, so my competition is the six and the eighteen. They are on my lap. And the only ones behind me on my lap, and I'm about to wreck myself. Good work by me. Where is Kevin LePage? He is right there. He is right there. Kevin LePage. There he is. I see him. And there's the six. Fuck. I just let a lot of cars go that I didn't need to let go. Because I thought Kevin LePage was going to be next to me. Fucking great. We gotta do... Okay, I only need to do 14 more laps. Alright? We're two laps down, thankfully. Thankfully, we're down two laps. The worst we can finish is 26. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, 20, no, 25th. We'll find out once Mark goes by. Oh my god, no, Kevin LePage. Just go. Just go, you bitch. You absolute bitch. Just go. And there goes him. Now our competition is Kyle Pay. Alright, I don't see him anywhere, so... We're about to get lapped again. Do you see the leader coming? Do you see the fucking leader on his on his fucking death march back? Look at that mini-map, though. Look at him go! I think... I don't know who that is. Because Tony came down pit road, came out third. He was looking for his fourth consecutive win on the season. And I'm going to do a... Just like for Casey's Angel, I'm going to do racing reference for this... This game. Another oh, caution's out. Jesus Christ. What is happening in this race? It's Ward! <laughs> and it still happens anyway! Oh, Ward. Look at you. And that's Casey who blew an engine! Fuck! God damn it. Well, I can tell you one thing. I'm not pitting. That's for damn sure. All right. There's Ward. And we're in 22nd! Hell yeah! Maybe I should have pit and took four tires. Now we're one lap down! Hell yeah! 
Wait, no, that's a bad thing. That means I have to race longer. Shit. Well, okay, we can only finish as bad as 25th. That's the worst possible spot we can finish is 25th, so it's all good. All right, here we are. Kyle Petty is not my main competition. It's Mike Skinner. Go around me, Kyle. Go around me, Kyle. Let's share draft, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Come back. Come back and be my friend. Kyle Petty plus two. I'll consider this a win. All right, we, we end the race on lap 49. And Ricky Craven is not my main competition. Go by. I completely choked that corner. Yeah, I should have kept that wedge out. It's pretty loose. Pretty loose off. And in for that matter, but you know what? I'm happy with that. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm, ha I'm satisfied with my decision to take the wedge back because this car would definitely have not been stable had I kept it out. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a racing reference for both the season race winners, and I'm going to actually do a page for Truex. 24th! We're gonna do my starting finish and my finishing finish. What? Um... 24th, man. Stewart wins four in a row, dude! Only a few lead changes. Yeah, I guarantee there's at least 35 or 40 other drivers who wish they had seen the lead. The 56 car didn't do anything to improve his standing with the other drivers out there. Oh, fuck you. We're down to zero with both Rudd and Jarrett. I suppose you could call that a win, and we got a prestige bonus. We're getting some extra moolah, be it only $7,000, but it's still extra moolah. And maybe we can get some better sponsors next time, but I don't want better sponsors because they'll have higher expectations that I know I can't meet because I suck at this game. Ah, Texas is next. Oh, Christ. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to be going into this race with some bad stuff. So, Stewart wins four in a row. The standings, 1,000 points for Tony. We'll go all the way down, still in fucking 31st. You absolute cunts. That's just... Uh, we're 100 points ahead of Biffle, so that's nice. For the 36th spot. God almighty. That's good shit, man. Did we at least get the fucking rookie of the race? Of course we didn't. Fucking Greg Biffle. Where did he finish? I should have looked at the results for that race. Oh, and of course, Martin led the most laps, but he finished terribly thanks to... I don't know. He's 13th in the standings. That's such bullshit. Yeah, Biffle gets the fucking rookie of the race. Asshole. God damn it. I'll never get an award. I won the award, man. Come on. And we're so far behind fucking McMurray. Biffle just closed in on us for Rookie of the Year. That's fucking just amazing. But you know what? We're good. I can get... I've been getting good starts. Astoundingly. I don't know how that's happening, but... We're keeping the average finish up. We're keeping the best finish where it's at. At 13th, Casey Mears. Blew an engine in the last race, so that's fucking great. Uh, so anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, this has been some more NASCAR Thunder 2004. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Fuck! 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 I just pushed Piglet into a power-up! No! Go away! Go away! Ah! 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 This is rape! God damn it! This. This is rape!
Ah, where's my rape whistle? 